and uh, we are playing Legend of the Time Stones uh, chapter 1 by Heike Hems. Let's uh, begin. So it's a sequel uh, for the um, game Legend of Sacred Stones and the story continues. Here's the beginning. Let's watch it. So we can see time stones uh, gives ability to travel in time. And the stones are protected by the three gods. God of stars, god of time and god of war. And uh, one sorcerer. I decided to take control on them. So now our task is to uh, defeat him and bring peace back to the world. So now uh, Ayla is about to travel to the new location, to the temple. And so go in there. So Oli is uh, traveling with her. Okay, so these all uh, persons are from the previous part. If you uh, didn't play it, I I'm sure they uh, recommend you to play it one of the best games from Haiku and let's begin so we are now at the island of time here's a sparkle to take and Ole is uh, with me so let's take sword uh, here we can take uh, a shovel and here's an oily also okay so now his task is to guard the boat. Okay, let's uh, dig out this chest. Uh, so to open this chest we need to enter three um, uh, different symbols. Uh, the hint for the symbols uh, is this note and also here's uh, the stone key. And uh, we can see uh, island of, of uh, stars on the west. So west and stars means we need to set uh, the west side for stars then island sk sky on the east and here uh, the island of time so we have uh, stars time and sky let's set it uh, here uh, stars time and uh, sky it's cloud symbol here uh, we've got one more uh, key and then the third key is to cut this grass and to get the third key now we need to place all of them to activate this kind of uh, portal and then um, uh, the first lock is opened so our task here is to guide this beam through all of this uh, through all of these uh, centers so we can only uh, rotate uh, if you rotate the green disk it uh, rotates on all of the other uh, disks so we need to guide this beam here and the last is to rotate the blue and we've got it now the next puzzle to solve it's a um, bit uh, more complicated so we need to guide it like uh, that this way the solution is, and let's move green, then uh, pink, pink we need to guide like, okay, let's leave it like here, then orange, 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 no, we need to make it like that way then green so we can see that green is not in this position rotate and further to make it like that no 
no more so we can see it is here then uh, let's rotate pink again now we can see it is activated and the last is blue to rotate and we have solved the puzzle so the gate of the temple of time is opened and we can go in where to solve uh, other puzzles okay so it's temple of time uh, the door is uh, sealed behind isla and uh, also let's solve puzzles so sparkle don't forget to collect them green gem and if we put this green gem here we can see the door transmits into the ladder and on the top here is the part of the stone table tablet if we put it here we can see a tablet table of uh, remaining numbers one two three and four now we need to count them one two three four five six seven eight and nine times meets digit one so for this position we need to set uh, nine sorry uh, then for the second position we need to calculate one two three four five six seven and eight then three we have one two and three and uh, four one two three four times uh, means uh, digit four now the chest is opened and inside there's a golden orb that we need to use first time here to open this door and go into the next room here is a backpack with a hammer and a note you can read it but it's not actually a hint but with this hammer uh, we can uh, hit these stones to make a dragon spike so this dragon spike is a part of the ladder to climb up there and the second stone is here and then with two dragon spikes we can climb up and also hit uh, this wall then here's uh, an hourglass a helmet so let's uh, use this helmet and then on the statue to release the spike and with the spike we can get uh, we can reach several places first place we can see here it's something hidden there and it's statue of one of the gods and it's also uh, uh, in the stage there are final uh, fights and uh, board games uh, what else do we have going out there now we can take this orb back and uh, we can see that uh, this uh, sand flows are flowing down but if we uh, move this uh, lever we can see that this sand flows are moving up and now we need to put one here to put into the slot and the slot uh, activated uh, this door it is opened and here we can take a key and also activate the one of the levers to activate the one of these halves then with this key uh, we can get the second orb and then also to put it so we can see the uh, op is uh, screaming from out there we have activated the second term the second uh, slot so here's also one more figurine then let's pull both led levers to lower the lever of the sand but first we need to solve this puzzle we can see these different runes here and um, for the uh, the same runes we can see on the top so we need to match the same samples here like that for the first it is open then uh, for the left we have this one uh, sequence to set like that and then the third is uh, this one to set so we have one like that uh, next uh, we can see 
uh, that the level of the center is lowered and uh, here in the hand uh, of the skeleton we can take the third figurine so we have taken it and uh, then let's uh, move this lever to send flow down and activate these two uh, slots and then to play the board game so we have all the three figurines the aim of this game is to move these uh, colored figurines to their slots but we can also only move uh, the one figurine uh, the green one and the others are following its movement so we need to place them okay that's done and now it's uh, the final fight left for this uh, chapter so it's the first uh, fight with the saucer okay we have our locket with us skipping these dialogues okay god of time let's try to use our uh, locket here but it doesn't work or whatever we select here so now we need to fight with this saucer okay let's attack him and the tactic is to attack him according to the color of its orb so we can see it uh, uh, changes quickly okay next hit we can see it is uh, changed so red we need to select uh, we need to be a bit agile here so red blue it changed so it's uh, your choice can be other than mine uh, now we can see it uh, changes quickly so let's just wait till it is activated change others and it is uh, kind of uh, be destroyed so that's the end of the chapter one and if this video helped you don't forget to leave likes subscribe and go into play the next chapter And uh, we are playing Legend of the Time Stones by Heike Games, Chapter 2. Let's begin, the story continues. So now um, Ella returned uh, back from this Temple of Time, but uh, accidentally she made a uh, time travel. And now she is in, in the past, like that. So here's the part of one of these stones to take. And it uh, was put in the locket now with this uh, locket we even with the help of the stone we can see a uh, window to the past like that but now we can uh, do nothing with it for now what else do we have let's keep all this take this arrowhead and use it to fix this spike Uh, then here's the bottle in the ocean but if we try to take it here's a sea monster appears but with this uh, spear we can hit it and get uh, the uh, monsters uh, monsters uh, tooth it's uh, very sharp and also here's a note uh, that we will use later but uh, but okay uh, then then what can we do we can use this sharp horn as a saw to saw this palmas 
and they get different items uh, so logs and uh, palm leaves and uh, then to make the raft uh, so also this uh, palm leaf we can use as a uh, broom to wipe away these heaps of sand and collect items so we can see that uh, left and right sides are different and these are the health of the digits like here uh, so these two halves gives uh, digit 8 and these two halves gives a uh, digit 6 this for digit 2 and these two halves are for digit 5 so like that here's the norb we have got and then let's um, okay we need to use this leaf to wipe the sand and here's the third uh, ball runic ball we have got uh, what what's next here's the sparkle to collect and uh, we need somewhere to put these stones and here we are uh, to put them oh here's one more heap of sand to wipe and uh, it's a puzzle for these three balls to solve so we need to move all these balls to their slots and we can only move a uh, uh, ball uh, till the till the end let's move it here there for a while then first uh, we have moved uh, the pink so we need to block its way with an orange and now the pink is on its position uh, next uh, what else can we do uh, then we need to move blue to its position then next is to be put is orange and the last is to be moved is uh, the green orb so okay that's done we can see this uh, letters are activated and here we can take a flag winds at the rope then finally make the raft and sail uh, to another island where this beam is going from So here we have met Silent of Stars and uh, here we have met the Luna. So the Luna is uh, from, in short, she is from uh, another planet and she is a friend of us, at least for now. Uh, what's here? Here's the lever and if we pull both levers here we can stop the, we can stop the water flow. And there's there's the second uh, part of this uh, uh, gemstone. Okay, so now we have it, and uh, so Ella thinks she can uh, make her way back home through time, through the time with this item. But if we activate it, uh, Luna stops uh, to make it for there is a big danger there and we need to uh, get another way to deal with this uh, situation but okay here's a sparkle to take inside the chest it's locked we need to find the key first but okay if we use this portal we can uh, affect the items in another dimension so we can get this triangle stone and then the stone to be put uh, here to activate another place to use the uh, time portal uh, there we can take a hand with the touch and also we can see how this statue should look like and let's try to set it ok 
Okay, we can again. Uh, hands like that, wings up, head not so fast, and we need to guess the correct position for this. I like that. And finally, an another uh, portal is activated. Okay, let's activate it. So we have an uh, unlit touch. Now we can light it from these flames. And then with this uh, fire to light these cups and open the passage uh, further to the next room. Go in there. So we need to, finally, we need to get the access into this temple inside there. Sparkle to take a uh, locked chest, but if we also use this time portal here, we can see that there is a key in the keyhole and also a note to read uh, with a hint. Uh, so, also we can see here is a hint of colored stars, uh, colored beams. We will use it later. Now we need to step back a bit. Use this key to open this chest, get this room block, and also use this key to open another chest to get uh, this uh, stone key. Then this room block to be put here. Activate the portal, but also we need to find the star. So star, uh, where can we find it? We can find it if we um, we need to look through the past. So we can see that it is closed. But if we put this tile here, we can see it is opened. And also in the past it is uh, also opened. And there's a star to take. Okay, go in uh, here to place this star. And uh, then... Uh, with these buttons we can rotate the stars. So first we need to get the hint how the stars should be rotated according to these beams. And to repeat the same uh, directions here. Okay, rotating this here. And like that. Uh, so we can see here the uh, second stone key. Now both to open puzzles. And solve this puzzle. So our task here is to move the star to the final point. Okay, let's do it like that. So first we are to move it into the center. Like that. And the last one is to build the path to make a path backward so we need to place it on this or on another position so how can we do it and this is how we can do it So the next puzzle uh, contains uh, three stars to be placed and it's just a, a bit uh, longer to play. Let's start from the green. So green is there. How can we move it there? Let's find a track like that. So we need to place it on this location.
so green is in its position then let's uh, do the same thing with the pink star uh, what can we do it so we can see if we move it on this spike we can make the path so let's try to connect it's that now the pink star is also on its position and the last one is to for the uh, for the orange okay let's also make the path for the orange so it seems if we put it here we can uh, deal with it so okay how can we do it here Let's try this trick. Okay, let's look, maybe there's another solution. How can we move it there? And it actually is. repeat it once again now we have a path the solution can be uh, different for you there are uh, various solutions are possible but that's the end of the chapter and uh, if this video helped you don't forget to leave likes subscribe and go into play the third chapter so Ayla is uh, go, goes inside but the door uh, shuts and the uh, Luna is on another part so further Ayla goes on its own and uh, we are playing Adventure Escape Mysteries Legend of the Time Stones Chapter 3 by Haiku Games let's uh, begin so we have uh, Ayla is trapped in the temple and uh, Luna is standing outside so let's find a way to escape okay let's keep these tokens and then uh, here we have got uh, one uh, part of the block behind the lever here is another block a uh, note with the hint and don't forget to collect sparkles all around here and there uh, we have a place to use this uh, time travel locket to get the brush and uh, nothing else so with this brush we can clear another locket and not a locket but place to use it and let's travel back in time here so here we can take one more block and uh, behind this uh, stones we can get the gem heart shaped stone so it is also to be used on this place to open this uh, chest and inside here's the fourth, uh, fourth uh, piece uh, now we need to place all of them here uh, 
uh, read this text it's uh, just to understand the story and so this picture itself is a hint and the another part of the hint is this scroll so we have planet to the uh, mother point then from mother to the child from child to the shell to the star and to the palm so we have directions uh, like from planet to the mother is uh, down right then to the child down left to the star right uh, to the shell right to the star up and the two palmas is to the left so we have hint of five directions that we need to repeat here from planet to mother from mother to a child from child to a shell from shell to star and from stars to palmas so we have these five buttons the door is opened and now we are in another room here's the sparkle to collect so let's um, look around place to for time travel and here we can see this uh, place is opened we can get the Pegasus horn we can get the runic coin and nothing else so this horn to attach to the statue and get this chain and then this chain is used to fix the elevator and now we can ride down to the uh, to another room so here's one more coin to take uh, also place for the time travel go in there and here we can take a hexagon gem and also a bucket also here's a sparkle to collect and let's place this uh, gem here so we need to find uh, the second gem uh, next what else do we have we have nothing to do here for now so going backward and uh, further backward with the bucket we can collect some gunpowder here's the magnet and this magnet is to remove this panel from the wall so behind there's one more uh, runic coin and all the three runic coins are parts of this puzzle uh, next we need to rearrange all these coins according to the image on the background so let's uh, do it like uh, that so first Okay, so this one is on its position, then this place is for the hourglass. Let's check this one, this one is for the star. So we have star and uh, W so the puzzle is solved and we have this door is opened and the ball moved down to this position and on the ceiling here's a uh, locked place opened and we've got a heart shaped gear this heart shaped gear is for this cabinet where we have a place for the puzzle so we need to move these sliders up and down left and right and we can have uh, four windows so these four windows are the hint for these four digits we need to slide them uh, like that till we get the uh, correct button Now it 
should be like like that so he can uh, get Romanian digit form let's set it then for this window uh, we can get digit 3 then for the bottom uh, left let's move it like no, but this is not from this place. By the team that this digit five. And the last. Okay, let's also try to guess it. And it looks like uh, this one is nine, Romanian nine. So uh, we have it is opened. Here's only dot and uh, stacked orb. So we need to use the explosive powder here. But the slit that covers it uh, is uh, is blocking. But okay, let's try to explode it. We can see that the lid blocks the way, so let's find uh, another way. First we need to find the second uh, hexagon gem to uh, lift up the lid and then uh, free the way. So one more time we have collected powder, then with the light we can light this stand. So it is open the box with the second hexagon gem and then to lift the lid and repeat uh, the explosion one more time. Okay, now it's gone. Uh, coming out from this place and uh, another gear is here. Okay, let's take it. Then open this chest. So here we can open the chest, uh, get the stone tablet with the hint and get the series uh, figurine. So you can see these lights are pointing to the certain places and also uh, planets are here and the hint how to rearrange them. So using this logic uh, we are to rearrange them in the following order. So closest to the Sun planet is uh, this small, then uh, second goes this one, the third we need to place uh, the green, then fourth is uh, red and the uh, far forest is this one. And now we need to move them to these positions, so it should look like uh, that. Uh, this one is seems to be somewhere here. Second, go back. And this earth is somewhere here. Uh, next, this green planet is for the position somewhere about here. Next, red is on the opposite. Okay, so we need to red to place here and the last blue is somewhere here to be placed. Okay, let's let's look once again. This here and there. Oh this one is for this place. So we have uh, solved this puzzle. Here's the board to play the, with this figurine and our task here is to uh, move this 
kind of our glasses to their positions but we are uh, to rotate them like uh, to roll and the same logic is here So that's done and uh, it's only the final fight uh, is left where we are to defeat the Sirius at the cut of uh, uh, time. Go in there and now um, the game is uh, almost like a game in the previous part in the Sacred Stones. So we need to uh, select uh, the correct uh, samples to defeat him. Okay, more dialogues here to skip. I can skip it. And then let's use um, the locket to call for the you know, for the symbols to remember. So we yeah, are to remember them like that. One, two, Three, four, five, and uh, six. The first round is ours. Next. Assemble to find this here. Okay, next the third round. up two times one and uh, two okay so here's uh, defeated a little left till the end of the chapter just to defeat him and uh, this way the uh, Luna can help us So that's the end of the chapter and if this video walkthrough helped you don't forget to leave likes, subscribe and go into play uh, the next chapter. So we have received one more uh, stone, it's called Past Stone, and that we will use it in the next chapter. And uh, we are playing uh, Adventure Cape Mysteries, Legend of the Time Stones, Chapter 4 by Hiker Games. Let's begin. And in this chapter, Ayla returns to the, mm, to the island of time and uh, here she is to find uh, the way to uh, return back to the present okay let's begin find different items here and uh, and let's uh, travel back uh, nope so another 
this can uh, here you can see uh, that only has gone but we can take this carved stone and then uh, also let's climb up there and activate these two diamonds here green so here we can take the net and also here we can activate uh, another uh, gem and the third left to be activated and the uh, stone uh, is a reason so we need to make a, uh, an image here by um, shifting rows and columns and here how this image should look like so let's uh, begin okay so this is uh, this part then this part is not from here I like that okay we can't move it up there but that way we can and then uh, what else do we have this is somewhere from this position but okay first let's move tiles from the borders to their uh, positions this one is to be placed here this uh, next uh, moving away uh, this oh we need to uh, change uh, their places I like that and so we have uh, completed the bottom part okay now it's on the left uh, to to make it like that And now it's on the left to move uh, uh, these uh, pieces on uh, their positions. Okay, if you, let's do it like that. And the puzzle is uh, solved. Okay, so that's done. It uh, raised again. And uh, the rift is opened but before going there let's uh, fish with this uh, net so here we have got the shell and in the right see we have got nothing okay now we are ready to go uh, to the present time and the island uh, of time in present Okay, it's not a sparkle here. Uh, let's take this uh, plant. Uh, then here we have nothing. Also with this net we can uh, fish in the sea on the left and on the right. So here we have caught a fish. Let's do it one more time. So we've got the second fish. And then if we climb up to this chest we need to solve this puzzle so we have uh, this shape on the left and on the right side 
and the same shapes we can meet uh, in the past on these uh, steps. So let's count them. For the left we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. So 16 for the left side and let's count for the right side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, going again to the present time. And let's uh, enter this number. So this tile meets 16 times and this uh, 13 times. Then the chest is opened. Sparkle to take. Let's take this dragon buckle. And we have a portion of uh, growth retype. So find an ornament in the ocean whisper. Cast a net past to the western shore. So we have uh, done it already. And on the western shore we have uh, caught the uh, net past. We have uh, found the shell. Uh, then uh, we need to put the fish here then uh, call to the dragon in the eastern sea okay let's try to call it and i think so we need to go to the past and then call for the dragon here and the dragon came we apologize for the past Here's an offering for the dragon and we have uh, uh, made an exchange for the scale. So going here again. Uh, make her an offering. We have made her an offering of uh, fish and we've got the scale. Now the portion of growth is ready. We need to take it. And we can see that uh, there's uh, a flying island and the beam from the temple uh, there. So we need to climb up there. And how can we do it? We have a plant and a portion of grove. And if we use this combination with the uh, uh, traveling in time, we can get a good result. Okay, it won't uh, grow so fast, but if we run uh, into the present we can see it's a uh, stairway to heaven okay go in there here's a flashback so somebody's it's kind of an early but it's not uh, defined so climbing up uh, to the flying island island in the sky and let's uh, find items here first we can get the key behind these ruins one key is tucked in the tree uh, then going into the gate so what can we see here is a sparkle to take uh, uh, animal horn and also here's a place to use our locket now we need to get uh, transformed to the past and here we can uh, get this stone disc. So nothing else. The stone disc is to be put here and uh, these three discs are the hint. So we need to look at this ornament here. And also uh, there are three ornaments different. So for the first ornament we have uh, only part and another part is here. So if we make the same ornament here this strange line and here's uh, this square one square in the corner we have eye uh, wind and sun so we need to set the same here eye wind and uh, sun now for the second disc we have this uh, rounded corners half of a square and half of a circle rounded corners half of the square and half of a circle so we have wind 
hand and um, let's call it snowflake wind uh, hand and snowflake and for the third column we have just square triangle and uh, corner of the rhombus so we have one square then we have uh, sharp corners and next we have these edges so we have sun eye and hand sun eye and hand the puzzle is solved uh, the lock is opened and we have got uh, the same animal horn uh, the second time it's a trick that we will use uh, further one more time okay so going backward also we need to take this spear uh, going um, backward two horns to attach to an animal to fill the fountain with the water and here's uh, one part of the emblem next with the spear we can reach the second key and uh, get it uh, the telescope is broken so what else can we do here's the sparkle uh, next uh, here you can see that the lid is opened and we have found the second half of an emblem so both to put here open the lid get the telescope get the butterfly and chest uh, with the uh, three key holes and we have the same uh, keys here we have one and two so one more key to find the circle okay going backward let's place this butterfly and uh, here we can see a panel to enter the password uh, so we need to attach the telescope here a look there different islands with different plants and let's look uh, one more time at uh, this okay so it's flashback talking to Luna and okay one more time here we have like a uh, uh, letter S and it is fixed position so letter S uh, match for this palm leaf and if you find uh, this island here it is it's for the first position and this shape of the island is pointing down so moving there we have another plant and also arrow pointing up and left so for this plant we have uh, this hook and it holds for the second position then for the third position let's define the plant uh, this one and this one is for this kind of uh, letter D with the dot looking down uh, next it's pointing down left and moving down left we have this uh, kind of chamomile so green chamomile so these green chamomiles are for this letter O then next position is going up this uh, leaves are for this uh, looks like it is equation sign and the last one to guess are these trees and this is the end point so these trees are for this letter O with the dot in the center okay that's done so we've got a cogwheel to place it here and raise one more uh, stone with the um, with the portal now if we activate the pest we can uh, get a dialogue with Luna so she warns us about somebody's chasing me and also here we can take the third key and we can see in the past this windmill was uh, working now let's open this chest get the shield and we can see this statue is with the shield and this is completely ruined but in the past it is a normal so if we place the shield here we can get it is activated also 
and these slots are empty but in present time this stone disk is here so let's duplicate the stone here the same way as we had it with the horn so we need to place it here and go into the present here it is uh, go into the past one more time to get this stone key and now we are ready to activate this portal and solve uh, puzzles one two So puzzles are left to solve. We have uh, three dragons here and we need to move them uh, the way that we cover all these blue uh, lines. Uh, so first we need to do is to move this uh, orange dragon uh, to cover these five squares. Then this one is already there and three uh, cells to cover with the a green dragon and next puzzle to solve it's uh, a bit uh, more complicated okay let's uh, do it like that so first we need to move this dragon away then hide this dragon here Okay, then to hide the green on this position. Then once more time hide the green one. Place here, green, pink, and green. Now all of them are on their position, the door is opened and we can go to the next chapter. So if this video helped you, don't forget to leave likes, subscribe and bye. And we are playing Legend of the Time Stones, Chapter 5 by Haiku Hymns. And let's begin. This time Isla is in Temple of war and need to find a way to escape from here here's a complicated system of levers and uh, uh, orb stations so let's pull this lever and it lifts up activating another thing uh, let's go to the past and here we can uh, get a key here we can get a crown and uh, nothing else Okay, going uh, uh, this back to its place and with the round key, whirlpool key, we can open this uh, box and get the pink crystal. So one more time, opening the uh, rift to the past and uh, uh, above the door we can see the slot for this pink crystal and it opens the door. And now in the present time we can walk upstairs. Uh, okay, going upstairs, uh, we are on a level above uh, the previous end, and so here's a place to place the crown uh, on the king, get the bow, we can see nets, uh, webs holding uh, different items, we need to light the arrow, and then to shoot to get these items. So we've got uh, the diamond key and also here you can take one of these tiles. Okay, we've got it. So diamond key is to open this chest and inside here's one more uh, tile. So going uh, backward. Now what can we do? We can take this uh, uh, diamond 
but if we activate it in the best we can take it okay and then okay now it is blocked so one more thing left to do uh, while this orb is uh, flowing up we need to remove uh, move this lever so this orb to fly up and here you can see a, a picture uh, then if we use this lever once again to block the airflow we have another uh, place to use the locket and see the part of the past here is the uh, star key and okay let's uh, open uh, the way down and uh, close the airflow to get access to the drawer with the star key so here's the third uh, block okay once again it is to flow up to get access to this picture for this picture is the key to solve this puzzle we can see there are swords crowns uh, shields axes and uh, spears and the same we can find here so for the first column we have sword axe um, uh, sp a spike and uh, shield for the second we have spike and x and so on so there are uh, five columns with five uh, different armory and we need to rearrange them the same way uh, here okay let's do it so for this column we have shield on the bottom uh, next let's uh, look at this one so here we are just to oh we can see that the bottom part we can also only move at once so uh, sort and So sword and the shield are for this column and spear and the X are to be placed here. Okay, let's let's place it like that. So here's the place for the shield. And then this one to place here. And now we can swap these positions. Uh, and the, the sword is to be put on the top like uh, that uh, now for this uh, place we have an X and a spear above it let's do it like that X and spear so then here we have to place the spear ground and a uh, uh, shield to place here so the puzzle is solved and we have opened uh, the round table so here we have to make uh, the broken diamond So this diamond is done. Now we can take it and uh, place it uh, on this door. Uh, for now we can uh, remove uh, this one. Uh, so we need to block the wind flow, block uh, this setting and activate this portal. Go to the past and get this uh, gem this crystal uh, then if we go again here we can place it to open another gate 
uh, go into the third room it's one room above it here's the sparkle to take and we can see here's a an orb so let's what else can we do okay let's first uh, activate this portal and we can uh, throw this down also also it is on the place so we've got the piano book and if we move this orb up there we can see the piano is activated and with this piano book we have uh, the hint the sound of war so we can see that we need to play the tune of uh, five uh, keys and this uh, text uh, is the hint from the eastern shore so eastern shore means uh, this uh, button then on the opposite side of the word mm, there was a silence so opposite side is this one and this button is uh, silent uh, cuts from a nearby western land so nearby western land as uh, this key then the card of war watched from the dark quietly so dark means dark button and uh, for some reason uh, this button ma matches and uh, by the hands of men all gods were led to war at the center of the war so this button means the center of the war and we have played the correct tune and received a, a lever handle and this lever handle is to be placed here and if we uh, pull it we can see that the orb um, flew, flew down this orb activated uh, this mm, box with the levels and to get these levels first let's turn off this one uh, close this lid and we need to move through these rifts uh, into the past to look for these patterns on the floor so we can see these two uh, uh, on sides and on the bottom so this means that we need to move these orbs uh, here uh, next going up there to also to close uh, this open it and close it to look uh, and, uh, in the past uh, at this position so we can see another two positions here let's also set them uh, like uh, that like that in the center and then opening this and this to fly up and to close it uh, so here we clearly can see the last two positions let's set them to the top and in that box, uh, box we have a shield okay uh, then let's cover this uh, box and activate other items so here you can see a place for sun and moon uh, then let's look what we have here on the ceiling here we have a moon and uh, here here we have it is opened and then if we close it we have this uh, rift activated and go into the past we have a board so nothing else left okay then let's open it to open the sky and with the shield we can get uh, the uh, move beam to the uh, floating diamond to get the sun uh, then what can we do we need to close this lid then we need to close this lid and move this orb to this position oops 
sorry. Uh, not here, but but uh, here it is at uh, this ram. Also here's the sparkle I have missed. So let's place sun and moon. And we've got the figurine that we are to, to use to play the board game uh, here. Go into the past and let's play the board the game with this figurine. So our task here is to move all these uh, runes to their positions and this buttons activate uh, fence uh, according to the color. So first what can we do? We need to move uh, S uh, block to the orange fan. Uh, then we need to move S block to its position. So it's done. Uh, next. Sorry, I have it a bit earlier, so let's start one more time. I have to use uh, as a block. So now this S block is to be used to block the, let's call this a W block, uh, green. Now I can move this S block here then. to move W and this digit 8 block. So now it's on its position W and a little left to do just to move this block out of the wall. And the last block left to move. This looks like a digit one. Green moves it up. And it's a little left to do to place it on its slot. So the puzzle is done. Now it's on the left to fight with the God of War and defeat him. And also to uh, defeat a bit the sorcerer. So here's this God of War, this sorcerer. Let's keep this dialogue so uh, we can see that he did something with the oily. So let's begin. Here's also a game to select runes but we need to select them in another order. We need to be agile and look uh, into the past and find these objects here. One rift, second rift. So what else can we do here? Nothing else. Let's look at this part. And one more symbol is missing. It is, uh, oh no, it is somewhere here. Here it is. So the first round uh, finished. Second round, round. So 
so it seems like uh, it rift has uh, two uh, symbols to find and the uh, third rift okay that's done and now the third round to win arrow up so the last hit and we have defeated the god of war so that's the end of the chapter uh, five. Let's watch the end. And if this video helped you, please leave like, subscribe, and uh, go into play the next uh, chapter. So we have received one more uh, stone, each stone can uh, uh, bring us to the future. So let's meet in future in the next chapter. And uh, we are playing Adventure Escape Mysteries Legend of the Time Stones Chapter 6 by Haika Games. So let's begin. Uh, the island of time, present time and uh, Ellie is here and it's flashback from Luna so what can we do? Uh, with this uh, pole we can travel back to the past to talk to the uh, Luna so here she is talking to her a lot and let's find uh, what do we have now for this place uh, now we can activate the third uh, gem and get the golden pickaxe uh, nothing uh, to do here for now and going again to the uh, present time so what can we do here? Also nothing, so go into the future. Okay, we can see that island of time in future and everything is broken. And also these are the parts of the card and all the cards are slayed. So with this golden pickaxe we can take these shards. One then second is this I here's the note with the text to understand the story and also uh, here we can take a sundial so we have a chest with uh, three times to enter and the hint is this sun dial let's start from the past And in the past, if we look here, we can get the time is uh, 6 hours and 15 minutes. Go into the future to set this time. Uh, so here we need to set 6, 15. And then in the present time, if we look at this uh, sundial, we have 1. 30 1 30 and uh, for the future we are already here we have it is 7 uh, 45 7 45 Okay, so the chest is opened, and inside here's a golden saw. We can see that this uh, big uh, sprout is falling, and uh, one more 
chart is uh, on the top there so if we go back to the present and uh, saw this sprout we can see it is tilted to the tower so then uh, here in the future we can reach it uh, take it with the golden pickaxe and these three uh, shards uh, to solve this puzzle so here we are to rotate these discs and um, move um, all these uh, shards to their uh, colored positions and then this one to place here pink Next, So that's puzzle solved, and we have a, a portal to go uh, further. So here we can meet. It's an ocean floor, and here we have met this old man who we have seen before, and his name is Durel. Now he have he has to go and leave us on uh, our own uh, what do we have here we have a uh, sparkle let's take this uh, portal and travel uh, let's start from the past so here we can see this dragon is sleeping then let's travel to the present time where we can get the brush and it's a uh, skeleton of the dragon with the brush we can clear this plate and it's another location to travel to so going again here we have found a net and this net is used to get these fish eggs and then to plant them in the past and uh, catch the fish in the present time for the future is uh, very very um, bad okay now we have fish and with this fish we can feed the uh, sea dragon and then the uh, mouth here is a pearl to take uh, nothing else left to do here so going to them so this kind of a Zuriel or I don't know who is him but we can take a, a note from him uh, then what can we do we can travel back to the uh, past here get another peril Here's the wrench to take, and this wrench is to um, unscrew this letter Z. So here's the slot for this letter, and we have activated the first. It uh, looks like a sword blade. So we've got a, a metal key to activate this portal. Okay, what else do we have? Let's travel to the present time nothing to do here for now so going backward uh, we have a, a, a page with the enumerated runes and the same runes we can meet here but we need to select the uh, correct row so the correct row uh, we need to look at this dragon here we can see it 
and for this driven uh, here he is we have this row of uh, letters to use so for this symbol uh, here it is and uh, we have some symbols are uh, erased but we have one we have two three uh, four five six seven so it's uh, it uh, this part can give us a hint that it is digit eight and this is for nine uh, so we have this sample is for eight then this uh, like uh, letter s seven this kind of letter b we can see it is nine so we have eight seven nine uh, next this like a uh, letter a and we can see letter a but it uh, can be hidden here so it is for digit four and the last is like o is four six so we have um, eight seven nine four six eight seven nine four and six to open this chest and uh, inside there's a sword okay so with this sword uh, we need to go there cut this uh, grass get the baby clamp and also we can uh, use this sword in the past there uh, nope so let's use it in the present time to cut uh, the uh, this seaweeds. So one more parallel we have got, and then going backward with this baby clump. If we put it in the past uh, on the ocean bottom, so in the present time we can uh, we can get it opened with the peril inside it. Now we have four perils and uh, all of them fit here to open it and to solve the puzzle. So we have top row is the sequence and this row is um, another sequence. We need to define the rules and the rules is uh, so we can see that uh, in this row this single dot moved to the center and the uh, middle line is removed uh, relative to the a cell above it so for this missing cell we have to set digit like digit 2 uh, also here and there and um, this single dot in the center and one more sequence to solve so we can see it like that but these sides are moving one step into the center and this single dot moved uh, to the bottom so relative to the five we have it is like that uh, this line moved here this line moved there and this single dot moved uh, to the one more row uh, lower okay another sort is activated so here we have got another metal key both keys to place to their slots and that's activated not for this effect so let's activate with the present okay then let's activate it with the future uh, next here we have got a puzzle to solve and we have received a sparkle from the lightning and we need to move it to this green cell uh, this is a kind of a battery and one step mm, removes one of these bars we can step on the red but we can step on the yellow and then use this yellow to remove uh, these red cells one step away So let's remove this out of the way and then move uh, 
okay so go into the yellow then remove this red and run in to the blue to recharge the battery uh, go in again to recharge the battery one more time remove this red okay let's try it once again so removing this red going to recharge and going to recharge again and then run to the uh, green hole and the one more puzzle left to solve here to finish this chapter let's uh, do it so run into the yellow to move this red out of the way then recharge recharge again And uh, now the way is free, so the puzzle is also solved, and that's the end of the chapter. So if this video helped you, don't forget to leave likes, subscribe, and go into the next chapter to play. And uh, we are playing Legend of the Time Stones, Chapter Seven, by Hikey Games. Let's begin. So now we're in the future and it's a temple of steel sparkle to collect and it's uh, the nearest future so first you can see this rift let's activate all the three lights on it to open this door one two and uh, three So now the door is opened and we can uh, look what's there. Here's the pencil with the paper, a journal that we can read to get more um, knowledge about uh, the story. So how this uh, man uh, learned uh, um, oily. And uh, so we have, we have a key to get the valve wheel to stop the steam coming out and uh, here you can see wheels of uh, different shapes uh, so and these wheels we need to rotate in the correct positions and the hint are these buttons so we can see the button expands uh, the drawer and these drawers uh, give us the position for the wheel with the three beams for this uh, wheel we need to set it like uh, the lights are uh, next, uh, this only one single beam uh, to point bottom left, and then next button, this uh, diagonal is for this, and the one left to find. So it is here, and we can need to set it like that. Okay, so that's done. The door is opened and we can go to the next room uh, here's this god of steel statue without an arm we need to find this arm and uh, let's look at this uh, map so we can see it's a kind of uh, sliding uh, tiles here uh, here we are this is the map and we have uh, three doors 
so we can see this uh, is a blank room and this door is closed but if you move this tile here we have a an entrance to the right the door is opened and we can go uh, there so here's the map that we need to make but we will make it uh, at the final step uh, but now we can uh, get it copy it to the paper so we will use it uh, later now from this room we are to take uh, the position of the star on the wall we can see this 8 beam star or it's it's a 7 beam star and it is on the uh, right side of the wall so we need to mark it like that then let's find uh, walls for other shapes okay what can we do let's move them like that now we can go up here you can see square on the uh, left side so let's make the square on the left side and next what else do we have here we have place for the rhombus and uh, okay let's start from this one this trickiest room so it's entrance on the top but this room has no entrance on the top so we need to uh, deal it like somewhere else so if we put it like that we have the passage there and uh, go into the left uh, so we have been here already but square is on the left side and the circle is on the right side square on the left circle on the right okay it's triangle star and rhombus left uh, this triangle star and rhombus okay triangle on the top and here's a, a place to use the locket it is opened and we've got a robot arm and the uh, triangle is on the top now this arm to attach to this robot and we've got an orange key next uh, we have orange chest here so let's move it like that and now we can go to the room with the orange key open the chest get uh, the robot leg open this door not for this uh, let's try future okay now it's future activated another silver key and the rhombus is uh, for the top we have to set and on the star left to find and star is here so it's also can be activated like that uh, go into the star and star is on the left side and one more thing to activate so here you can take a pink uh, machine component here's the sparkle to take okay go in so star is on the left and in this chest here's the uh, a green machine so what do we have we have a leg and we have a silver key so silver key is to use uh, in the starting room okay let's also check this room for it is uh, this assign ball is for the robot and uh, maybe he needs his leg no he, he needs uh, ahead okay going to open this chest we've got one more component uh, then a uh, robot okay let's go here uh, so here's this robot without a leg and we want the green key uh, so what else do we have a green key here it is 
going to the right here's uh, the robot head so where is this robot without a head seems like here he is so finally we have got the pink key and let's uh, here I am sorry I'm, I have lost so pink uh, to the pink room we can go like that to the left and open this pink chest so here we have found a bolt emblem it's kind of a shield and shield is in one of these rooms okay let's first check this room going to the left so here's an emblem for the shield and we can see this orb is lying high above if we pull it we can see that this window doesn't opens so we need to uh, hear this room and we need to make this maze like not we need to place to place them like that to be able to pass uh, to this room and we can see this bridge in the hole for the orb to fall to activate one of the portals this window is opened here okay so one uh, orb is activated and we need to make the same thing with uh, another orb uh, to make it we have a plan so here how we are to set it and let's begin so it's a common sliding puzzle square Okay, the first row is completed. And the puzzle is solved, so we have a map. Now we can see this orb is also here. The lever is opened. Something's happened in that room. And now we can also roll this bow to the uh, to to the needed uh, slot. And then we can see the board is opened and we have uh, three lasers and our task here is to uh, lead these uh, laser lights to the, the to the uh, gems of the same color let's start with the green maybe there are different solutions but i will show you my solution that's done let's then guide uh, yellow orange and the last is uh, pink
So that's done. The door is opened and now we are ready to fight with the next god. The next god is the god of steel. Okay, let's talk talk to the Zurel. So he blames Ayla uh, that she made uh, the oily like he is. And let's fight. So we have here uh, colored bulbs and also slots. Uh, hit on the three. And also here are slots uh, or uh, all this portal. So we have green and we have a pink. And we need to be agile to find the items like that here. Okay, the first round is over. Let's start again the second. Here we have to activate the yellow. And here we are to activate the green. And let's find the first orb we have found. The second, the third, then more and more one more arrow up and the last one and one more round left to win orange and then green my symbols one is here another one uh, here it is and the last to meet here it is uh, okay hope I will meet it here it is so we have defeated this god one more time. Now look at the end of this chapter. Uh, a bit of dialogues to this Azariel. And if this whole crew helped you, don't forget to leave likes, subscribe, watch uh, another part of the story to understand what happens. And then go into play the last uh, chapter. So Oli was waiting ashore and uh, he has nothing left to do but just to sail on on about the way. And uh, we are playing Adventure Escape Mysteries, Legend of the Time Stones, Chapter 8 by Hyke Games. And this is the last chapter where we are to defeat the evil old man. And uh, let's begin. So this kind of uh, early in the future, he came uh, back and uh, he feels pain for this uh, uh, stone times can control him. 
so we need to find a way to help him okay uh, we are here and let's travel uh, back uh, to the past where we can meet uh, the Luna and talk to her so she calls for all mother and all mother uh, describes how to we can uh, rest at the timeline and uh, uh, save the only from transforming into the evil Batman so in short we are to find the um, amulet of time there and uh, command the god of time to rest at the timeline this uh, amulet also to uh, to protect and to prove that uh, I was sent by the old mother okay let's begin so first what can we do we can take the fishing road let's fish a bit here we have nothing on this side we also have nothing so we need to fish uh, in the present time okay we've got the chest on the right side we have got a uh, magic lens and let's uh, look here here's the sparkle to take so what else do we have uh, here we have uh, present past and future and uh, symbols to select so with this uh, magic lens we can see uh, these different uh, runic symbols there and we need to select them here so now we are in the present and this kind of Z, A and this kind of letter D uh, so let's select them and this one this and uh, this let's check once again okay that's correct and we have set the row for the uh, for the present now going to the uh, to the past here we are also to look for the symbols it's kind of s o with the dot on the top and that uh, zip line or something like that uh, so let's select this symbol so we need just to find the symbol on the dial for they are not the same here for for example this s uh, we ca can't meet on these dials and then for the future go into the future to look for these uh, symbols here it's a digit one kind of O and D looking down they look like that uh, D looking down then this O and like a digit one so we have set correctly all the three sets and uh, there we can find a uh, half of the door and a shovel to dig so this part to place here and now we can activate oh, since we are in the present we can only activate the present first then go into the past to activate the past and then go into the future to activate the future but we can see this disk is broken we need to fix it and to do it uh, first also let's use this uh, magic lens we can see one two three four five highlighted spots on the sand and with the shovel we can dig the ground here and uh, get this uh, parts of this disk okay 
Okay, so here is this disk and uh, we have all these parts. And now we can uh, make once again this image. Let's start from uh, the top. This should be like that. And this part is from uh, this position. This is somewhere from the center. Okay, let's place it aside. Uh, next, uh, here we have signs for the past and for the future. So this uh, part of the uh, from the center, this part from the side, Okay, it's let the left to do to finish this puzzle. And the last piece. So we have made uh, this uh, plate and uh, here we can activate uh, the future uh, lock. Now go into the past to Luna. And with all these three seals activated, uh, we can open the door to the temple. So we need to light these flames, one and two, with this amulet. With these necklaces, and then open the door and go in. So then we need to deal as a team and go in there. So she's in the past and I'm going to the present time and going once again uh, to the temple. So through these necklaces we can talk uh, to each other. Okay, the door is closed behind. 
Now here's a portal uh, that we can talk through. And here she is. Okay, let's uh, look uh, around. Uh, here we can uh, see the lever handle, so this lever to be put here, but we can't read it. Uh, Ella can't read it, but Luna can. We need to give it to her. And so she is climbing up, and here it is appearing. And now it's my task to climb there and to pull it. Uh, so also here we can see uh, this uh, green gem and a slot for it to stop this sand flow and get uh, the pink diamond. So this pink diamond uh, is to be put here and here's the note that leave it in the past, take it from the present, but in the past it still remains. So it's a hint that we need to open the past put it there, close the past and it uh, it is in the present. Do the same trick three times. And one more. So uh, we have opened uh, this board and now we can solve this puzzle. So here's the text. Uh, how to arrange these uh, tiles and in short it is how to revive the um, somebody's from the uh, dead. So first somebody's killing someone then it's crying on its grave then asking uh, our mother for revive go into the temple of time uh, get uh, this time amulet, talk to the god of time, travel through the time and the man is uh, revived. Now this chest is opened and we've got the, the scepter. So what can we do with the scepter? Uh, let's take this sparkle. Okay, let's uh, look at the future. So here we can see this stone that we can lift with the scepter and get the dragon spike. And then with this dragon spike we can climb up and, uh, and what can we do? Okay, let's talk once again to the Luna. So she has found a golden orb that now we can fit to different places. Let's first place it here. And then I look in different times. Nothing here. Okay, let's look in the future. Also nothing here. So let's just take it again and I put here. And then also to look for the different times. Oh, we have found the first uh, villager figurine. In the future, what can we see? We can see uh, the column to break, but we need to find the tool. So let's, in the present time, activate it to open the door. So if we remove this orb, the door will uh, close. And if we pull this lever, this bar has appeared and now we can take this orb uh, without any when without any action okay so here's the board to play mini game and uh, down under the glass we can see this amulet but we don't have all these figures we have only one so we have places to put all of these orbs First, let's look here, read this amulet of time note. And okay, first place to use it. In the past, we have to place the moon token in the future. 
we have a pickaxe head let's take it then uh, with this pickaxe head uh, we can fix the pickaxe and here's a place here in the future that we can use the pickaxe to break the skull and get the triangle from the chest it's a pyramid key okay let's take it then pyramid key is to open the skeleton's chest to get the gold coin and then you can see the steps on ladder are broken and if we transform to the past we can see that uh, here uh, the, the ladder is uh, normal so we need to unscrew the steps and then fix the ladder okay let's look in the future here we can see a rope that we can cut with the pickaxe and we will uh, use it uh, then climbing up for this place also let's look at the past so we can see here is the hook uh, that we can use to tie the rope then pull this rope move uh, this block there to activate the door get the star and here is the moon to take Okay, let's look in the future. Uh, nothing good. Uh, so what else do we have? Here we have a place to use the moon. And uh, we have a hint. Uh, uh, not a hint but a puzzle to set correct levels for these stars and also a hint uh, that green means present pink means past and orange means uh, future so the same colors we can meet here in the past if we put this star here so we can see in the past uh, these three stars are activated but we have first is green so let's just uh, look at the present time and we have the three levels so relative is this the ground floor one two three four three and two let's set them like that three four and uh, two i think it's four three two four three two yes then in the past we have it is two five and three two five and three and let's uh, look again at the future oh the future is uh, closed from me so we are just to define the missing stars uh, they relate to the future so the three green for the present and uh, these three are for the past so we have to place one and it seems like this star one and four uh, for the future one and four Okay, it seems to be that this one is here as I remember and uh, here's the sword so this magic sword to uh, place uh, to the statue arms and open the open the sky now let's uh, open the future and uh, then we can uh, travel now we can travel but we can take this uh, figurine uh, one more and what what's left to find 
let's look here. So one more figure left to find, and it is also not here. Okay, this is not. Oh, here it is to find, and let's look at the best. No, it is not here. Then where is it? And uh, here it is in the present. Okay, now let's place all these figurines on the board and play the game. So our task here is to move these both villagers to collect these two items and place on their correct uh, positions and uh, we uh, control the blue one but the orange one moves the same uh, directions so okay let's restart it once again and then uh, do this trick like that So we have got uh, the first uh, item, uh, then to move here, get this item to the left, to the right, up, then right, right, down up and that then meet here uh, so we have got the amulet of uh, time. Okay, now we are ready uh, to meet with the god of time and fight uh, the old man. So here he is. Nothing happens. For he is in present, and we need to activate the present uh, locket. And dialogues. Then uh, here we can see. Uh, we need to uh, show him amulet of time and also necklace of stars skip all these dialogues and here the Ole has appeared but he feels pain and uh, wants uh, to stop the pain but it's just a trick And we are traveling to the future where we are to fight with this uh, old man. I keep keeping these uh, dialogues. It's about to be destroyed.
Zuriel, Sorcerer Supreme. And let's fight with him with the locket. We need to remember the colors of this sides and re repeat the same sequence. So we have green, orange, pink, and orange. The first hit. And then the second, let's remember. Pink, yellow, pink, yellow, green. Pink, yellow, pink, yellow, and green. Next. Orange, green, green, pink, orange, 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 green, green, pink, orange, and orange. Okay, so here's uh, defeated in the future. And uh, two more dimensions left to defeat him. Uh, so Luna uh, says they are in the past traveling there also to fight with him let's remember the same thing here orange green orange green pink orange pink orange green orange green pink orange and pink next Pink, green, pink, orange, green, pink, green, pink, orange, green, orange, green, and orange. One more. Okay, it's, it was hot. Okay orange green pink green pink green it was the top and now the bottom so it is pink green and i have run out of time okay let's remember once again these two these two oh here's a mistake pink green uh, orange, green, pink, green, pink, green, pink, orange, and green. In the past, he is also defeated. Now let's defeat him in the present time. So we have obtained back uh, the amount of time and traveled in to the present um, orange pink orange green and then this branch green pink green pink green and pink Okay, let's try to remember it. Pink. No. Orange, pink, green. Orange, pink, green. Orange. Okay. Uh, not correct I'm bad at this memory game so let's just try it once again orange pink orange green green pink green pink green and uh, pink Okay, let's try once again. 
orange, pink, green, orange. Then for the bottom we have oops. that's not my uh, good trick. Orange, pink, green, orange, orange, green, green, orange, pink, orange, orange, and pink. Okay, I have finally solved it. And uh, the last one, it seems to be impossible. And it is uh, really impossible. But now we can ask the god of time just to defeat him, for we have an amulet. And he is defeated, so this is uh, almost the end of the game. And if this video walkthrough helped you, don't forget to give likes, subscribe, and uh, waiting for the new games to come. Now watch the end of the story. It uh, ends good. And be happy. Now this is uh, the final end, uh, the Ayla uh, returned, uh, reset her timeline, now she knows the Oli is here and he's a bit surprised about it, and then they decide not to go into this temple, and the future changes. Then she tells him about his father and so on. So happy end is also good. And thanks to the developers. And once again, don't forget to leave likes, subscribe and write down the comment there. Bye.